All right, welcome to this episode of the Arizona Timeless Tours. Today we're in Florence, Arizona. It was established in 1866. This town is awesome. Let's take a tour. This house was built in 1876 and was once owned by Pauline Cushman and her husband. Pauline was an American actress and a spy for the Union Army during the American Civil War. Levi Ruggles founded the town of Florence in 1866. These are the ruins of the first house that he built in Florence in 1869. This is the first Pinal County Courthouse. This is the oldest courthouse still standing in the state of Arizona, built in 1878. This is the second Pinal County Courthouse that was built in 1891. Three notorious women were presented before this court. On June 4, 1899, Pearl Hart is jailed in the courthouse for robbing a stagecoach. In 1930, Eva Dugan receives a sanity hearing in the courthouse after a conviction of murder. She remains the only woman executed in the state of Arizona. And in 1933, Winnie Ruth Judd, the famous trunk murderess, receives a sanity hearing in the courthouse after a double murder. John Clum built this house in 1878. John Clum started the first newspaper in Florence, Arizona. He was also the first mayor of Tombstone, Arizona and was a friend of the Earps. From 1874 to 1877, he was the head of the San Carlos Indian Reservation. In 1877, with 100 Apache police, John Clum captured Geronimo. On this building, this old-fashioned advertisement for Coca-Cola was printed on this building in 1985 for the movie Murphy's Romance that was filmed in Florence, Arizona. This building was built in 1877 and was used as a courtroom and county offices. In 1879, Pauline Cushman, the famous Union spy, married her husband, Jerry Fryer. This is the oldest standing house in Florence, Arizona. It was built in 1868 and was first a post office. This is the Truman Randall House, built in 1887. 
Truman was the sheriff who in 1899 captured Pearl Hart, the first woman to rob a stagecoach. In this area was the famous Tunnel Saloon. And on Thursday, May 31st, 1888, one of Florence's most famous shootouts took place in this very spot. Ex-Sheriff Pete Gabriel and his deputy Josephus Fye shot it out in the streets right here. At the end of the day, Josephus Fye perished and Pete Gabriel lived. A <laughs>